everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a review on Loops and Threads Impeccable. Impeccable is an acrylic worsted weight yarn that you can purchase at Michael's. Loops and Threads, I believe, is Michael's in-house yarn brand. It comes in a variety of colors. I have so much of this yarn. I think it's, it's really great, I think. And this one specifically is called True Gray, though I would say this is more of a heather. Uh, here, so you can see it. The, it's um, a medium weight, so it's a four, or considered a four, and it asks for five millimeter or eight, US eight. I'm currently working on a cowl and I'm using nines. It is a bit looser, but I, I like it more like that. <laughs> I like it more like that. So for the crochet hook, you would be using an H. Obviously, you can do whatever you want, but that's the recommended so that you have a visualization of the size that you would need. Like most in-house or big box yarn brands and lines there is a pattern that comes with the skein so this one is a cute hat and then I have some other skeins to show you this one is a really nice scarf I would actually make this scarf and just like normal it tells you how much you need to get for it and then I also have this purple one, which I like the cowl right here. I think that's a really pretty one. So the patterns are, are relatively nice. I know a lot of times I look at patterns and it looks like something out of the 80s or early 90s. And it's kind of like, who's, who's going to make that? <laughs> Who really wants to make that weird blocky sweater? I don't know, not me. Yeah. So I really like that. I think that's really nice that the patterns are modern. Something that I would want to make. With the colors, obviously you just saw three solids. They have solids, they have ombre, they have variegated, and they have tweed, which I've never seen in stores. I've been to quite a few Michaels. As I've said before, I travel, so I've been to Michaels in other states from north United States all the way down to Florida have never seen it but you can purchase it on the Michaels website which is relatively new I know when I was in college you couldn't buy anything from Michaels online but now you can so that's within the last couple months or whoa not months a couple years which I think is great though I was just perusing it and I noticed that some of the yarns you can't buy online. Uh, I'll probably be reviewing this one later, but there's another one by Loops and Threads, and it's called Charisma. absolutely love Charisma. I think it's great yarn for the price. Which, have I mentioned the price? I don't think I have. Well, we'll cut. I'll talk about Charisma in a second. <laughs> Scatterbird! So the price for this is $349. I never spend that much money. Currently it's on sale for $299. Uh, if you use your 40% off coupon when it's full price, it's cheaper than that. I would never buy it for $349. It's still a really good price. But there's always a 40% off coupon, so why not? Okay, back to Charisma. Charisma is always on clear or on sale. And every time I go to buy it, someone's bought all of it. So, apparently you can't even buy it on the website. I don't know. But Impeccable, I know for a fact that you can. And you can buy it in the solids, in the heathers, in the ombres, and in the tweed. Which, I might try to get some of the tweed. Because like I said, I've never seen it in stores. Maybe I just need to go to like a Super Michaels. Do those even exist? Are Super Michaels real? If they are, I want to find one. Yeah. With the variegated yarns, um, what's really cool about them is you can 
Maybe I should hold my yarn in the frame. <laughs> What's really cool about them is you can match the little bits of colors in the variegated with a solid color. For example, I made a scarf that was pinks, whites, and greens. Like, not variegations between the colors, but like a pink and a white and a green. And I, and that's why I bought this green, actually. This one matched perfectly with that color. But the person I made it for liked pink more, so I had to go buy the pink instead. I'm more of a green person. But oh well. This one... Oh, let me read to you the colors. So this one's called Grass. I disagree with the color name. This is definitely more of like a lemon green. And this one is called Amethyst. Mm, that's a dark purple. And, oh, I need more space. And this is what it looks like right now on the needle. So that's double moth stitch. And there's currently two skeins. So there's this skein, which I actually bought five years ago. And then there's this one, which is the new one that I just got a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> Don't know if you can tell. But they're definitely different, which you would expect from two different skeins. I've seen some reviews where people complain about when they buy the same dye lot they can't match it or when they're knitting it's completely different i've never had that problem i'll be honest um i don't look at dye lots very often i know that's so horrible and it comes back to bite me like that is but uh, i just i something i just don't think about i'm doing better at it but it's definitely not at the front of my mind now you're gonna like not credit me for being a knitter or something. I just, I don't know. I just forget. There's something people forget and I forget to do that. So, anyway. I actually don't mind the fact that it's not matching. It's not a big deal. It's, it's you can't really notice it that much, especially when I gift it to a non-knitter. I highly doubt that she's gonna be like, oh, these aren't the same. No, she's not gonna notice at all. Half the time when there's a mistake, they don't even notice. I even point it out. I'm like, hey, can you see that I did two cables instead of one? She's like, uh, I guess so. So, don't worry about it. <clears throat> I will say that you'll probably get a knot, which is annoying. But I and I spend about two bucks on these. What's a knot for two dollars? This is washable. It is 100% acrylic. I don't know if I've said that yet, but... There you go. And my final assessment is two needles up. You can knit with it. You can crochet with it. <clears throat> it's going to be a denser fabric, obviously, if you crochet. But the knitting's really nice, too. It is a, it's a nice soft yarn. It's not the softest, but it's definitely not as rough as Red Heart Super Saver. So if you're thinking about something to start out with or just test out a nice scarf or a pattern or something or even just to make squares I would go for these they're really cheap there's a plethora of colors way more than at your local Michaels just check the website and yeah definitely try it out thanks for watching bye